What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. So for today's episode uh, for AppSheet, we will be covering uh, on the expression, a very specific expression called input. Now I know some of you, including myself, we have been using uh, input since back in 2021. But as we all know, input back then was in beta. Uh, and again, I think recently, somewhere back in December 2023, Google has announced the general availability, GA, for input. And there has been some changes to it. And I've tried it. And I feel like I need to share this with all of you so that for those who have actually used the input previously, um, just a bit of heads up it's no longer that way uh, of course the old way of doing it or previously in beta was where we will put some syntax uh, quotes in input however with the new update uh, the general availability update uh, there has been some changes to it and this tutorial will cover on it and without further ado let's check it out okay guys so Let's talk about doing input according to the latest update. Okay, so now we have, let's say for example, we have a task table where we have the task ID, task name, assigned to the urgency and the status. Okay. And we have another table where we store the um, values when it comes to the urgency so of course for for urgency we have the low medium high and urgent okay now if you were to sort of do this in app sheet or make this uh, as an app in app sheet so of course i have my task and urgency uh, embedded in the app okay so to do input as usual, we will have to head on to actions, okay? And I've actually created a an, an action called update urgency in the task table, okay? And of course, this would uh, set the values of some columns in this row. And I want to set the column value for the urgency column by using the new uh, updated uh, expression for input. So this is actually announced by Google themselves that we will have to use this new way of doing input as compared to the beta version that I've uh, explained earlier in my introduction. Okay, so this is one of the ways. So I'm using user input urgency, okay? The reason why is, of course, uh, prior to doing this expression, you will have to head on to advance in your action and you will find inputs. And the name that I predefined here is user underscore input urgency. Okay. And the type is text. And the default value is basically uh, from the table urgency and referring to the column called urgency so it sounds a bit weird so it's urgency dot urgency uh, it's basically taking from the urgency table and I have taken or pull all the values or taken all the values from the urgency column okay so what it does is if I were to uh, head on to the details, I will see the update urgency action that I've just created. Okay. So when I click on the update urgency, it will uh, come up with a pop-up where I can actually select uh, the urgency and click on save. Another way of doing it as well in the app is if you have displayed your action, okay, in the urgency section here, 
you can actually, um, let me just show you here, perhaps it's bigger. You can actually add the actions in the update urgency. Actually, let me just uh, sort this out for you guys. There you go. Maybe you can see it now. So you can see there's an update urgency for the task. So you can immediately change it uh, along the way. Immediately. And that should do the trick. So this is one of the ways of using input. And the input that we have taken is from another table called urgency so that we can update another table which is the task and you can try out this uh, today and if you haven't changed from the old uh, input expression you may want to do so before june this year 2024 so i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to drop a like if you find this video useful and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't so that you'll find more contents like this in the future. And just a public uh, announcement. The, if you have used input before and using the old way of doing it, you have to change this before June 2024 uh, to avoid any disruptions in your app. And you can follow the tutorial that I did before. For today and uh, so that you can actually update your expressions accordingly and of course do let me know what else you'd like to see in the comment section down below i'm aris azaha thank you very much for your time i hope to see you guys in the next video so take care bye bye